So in objective C, during the compilation of some object gets created. These are called class object, the factory object, who are responsible for creating the instance object during the runtime. So for vehicle V1, if I declare something like this, V1, vehicle represents the class object. This is an object, vehicle is a class object which will be responsible for allocating the memory for V1 instance. So V1 is an instance object whereas vehicle is a class object. So for each class, compiler create one representation or one class object. So each class object will be given a responsibility of creating the instance during the runtime. So this is a class level. So it's an object, it will have a behavior. So all the methods which are responsible to be executed by the class object, we say it should have a plus sign. So plus sign will indicate it's a class method. Something like static method, which a class is responsible for calling it. Method which has minus sign are called instance method. So if you have a static method, you will all denote by the plus sign. When you have an instance method, you will denote by the minus sign. So if I want to create a V1, I will return the code this way. V1 equal to vehicle alloc. Now alloc is a class method because its receiver is a class object. Now alloc is declared in NS object. So the design pattern out there is something like, it is a factory method which is responsible for allocating the instances during the runtime and NS object is a factory class which is only a sole person who want to produce the object during the runtime. So this is allocation and now once you do an allocation to an object you have to initialize, you have to call a constructor so that it's ready to use. Now in other language we have characteristics of constructor. A constructor should have the same name as a class name but here it's not like the case. A construct, you can create a construct of whatever type or whatever name you want to. But for the best practice, we have seen the system uses init, init with, init with frame, init with coder, init with say div name. So they start using a word init. So it's always a good practice if we also declare a constructor using an init word. But it's not compulsory. So after object gets created, I will say v1 equal to v1 init. Now init is a default constructor declared in ns object which we want to do the initialization. So see here, vehicle is a receiver for the alloc therefore we say alloc is a class method whereas v1 is an instance to the method called init. So it says it's a instance method. We can plus these two statements. So normally we want to write this way vehicle alloc init. So you have first the object gets created by the vehicle alloc and that instance is initialized and the id is sent back to the v1. So it's always there will be at least one class method called alloc in objective c class and there will be at least one default init method or uh, instance method called init declared in an NS object. So this is the way they have been declared plus id alloc. So alloc will return an object of any type which is id means an objective C type object and initialization will say minus id. So this is the declaration of alloc and init. Plus sign for the alloc because it's a class method minus sign for the init because it's an instance method. So with this we understood the syntax of Objective-C and why those square brackets are added, why the, there is a no comma because it's a label to the argument and secondly we understood the significance of the plus and minus sign. So plus sign indicate it's a class method, basically class is a receiver. So they are something like a static method and minus is a instance method. So with this we are now in position to understand a lot of other Objective-C concepts.